today we're doing is the Chemex. And the Chemex is really this vessel, but pr predominantly it's this filter. So what defines really the quality of this method is this filter itself. It's a denser paper filter than uh, other drip methods. So this is probably about 20 or 30% more dense. So what it's allowing us to do is a really smooth uh, cup of coffee. Uh, so this cup of coffee is really defined by its cleanliness, the freshness, the pour over itself allows for more of the fruitiness to come out. But because of the density of this filter, we have a combination between direct pour over and an immersion method. It will actually hold the water and submerge the grounds for a longer period of time than something like a, a traditional pour over would have. Now, it's, the filter itself is just a big giant square. It comes folded, and you want to just open up one leaf, which leaves three leaves in the front. So it makes a little pocket or cone, and the three leaves move towards the spout itself. So it just sits in there, looks like a big triangle. The three leaves actually uh, maintains a little bit of stiffness, so it uh, keeps the filter out of the spout, so you'll see I can pour through it. And again, with all of our methods, we want to control all the elements that define the quality of the coffee. So we're using fresh roasted coffee, freshly ground to order, and we're using water of the, right, of the correct temperature. And the first thing I want to always do is wash the filter and temper the vessel. So I'm maintaining heat and temperature, and then whatever residual paper dust might be on the filter, I'm also eliminating. So now I'll just remove that and we'll be ready to brew. All right, I have freshly ground coffee. It's been measured out and our recipe for this is we do 700 milliliters of water and 400 grams of coffee. That gives us the correct balance for all of our coffees are around a recipe that's a 15 to one ratio. So one part coffee and 15 parts hot water. The grind's a little bit coarser than our other pour overs, but I, the method is essentially the same. I walk through the, broom, the bloom, so I'm, my goal is to saturate all the coffee first. And that allows the coffee to actually release gases. So there's gas in, trapped inside the coffee, and as it releases, it allows water to penetrate into the bean and gives a more thorough extraction. This happens uh, really with fresh coffees. You can literally see that coffee blow up or bloom as we refer to it. And it's about 30 seconds, 30 to 45 seconds. We allow that to happen. And then from that step, I really just want to move right into slowly saturating all the coffee. I'm not trying to create a lot of turbulence or agitation. I just want to softly fill that. And for the Chemex, the filter will continue to fill up. So what I really want to do is slowly fill it. The kettle's already measured out. So I'm just going to move all the way out to the edge of the filter or the top of the glass. And this takes about two minutes. And at the two minute stage, I put all the appropriate amount of water in and I just stop and allow the filtration to happen. So again, fresh coffee, correct, correct grinds, water at the right temperature, and again, a beautiful vessel, but defined by the density of this filter itself. That's really what makes it Chemex. At this point, you can see that I'm actually moving right out to the edge of the glass. So my goal is just to get the entire kettle of water in there, and then I can stop. So at this point, all the coffee is submerged in the water. It's sitting in there brewing passively, um, akin to a French press where everything is covered by water but then slowly filtering through this dense filter. So we're gonna end up with a really clean cup of coffee with no undissolved solids, but a lot of the character and body of like a French press or a more immersive style. Okay, so the last few drops are, are finishing brewing. It's brewed through the entire mass of the coffee and we're left, to, we're left with perfectly brewed coffee in a very clean cup. 
At this point, I just want to remove the filter. And then the brewing vessel becomes the serving vessel. And in the end, we just have an immaculately brewed cup of coffee. And that's the Chemex Brewing Method.